Sooty Cop and welcome to Phuket Extra, brought to you by PVCPhuket.com. I'm Chris Housen, filling in for JP Mustanza. Today is Wednesday, October the 12th. Now let's get to the news. A final farewell to the victims of the tragic shooting at a child care center took place yesterday with people from all over Thailand observing the mass cremation for 36 of the victims. The entire ceremony was held at four separate temples across the district where the murders took place. Prime Minister Prayut Chanacha and members of his cabinet joined the ceremony at one of the temples. In the morning, the bodies of the dead children were placed in clothes that reflected their dream careers, such as doctors, nurses, astronauts, soldiers, and teachers. Meanwhile, doctors at the local hospital say that the conditions of the wounded victims were all improving, adding that one of the two boys treated in the ICO could now communicate. A road rage incident in Cantu that when captured on video has prompted authorities to suspend the license of a Phuket taxi driver after he tested positive for drug use. The 33-year-old taxi driver was also charged with operating a vehicle under the influence and fined 5,000 baht. The incident took place while cars were waiting at a red light at a Cantu intersection on Monday night. A video posted online showed the cabbie abusing a man who had asked him to calm down after yelling at other drivers. The man who recorded the video also asked the taxi driver why he was behaving so rudely, to which the taxi driver responded, I'm Phuket person, where are you from, don't come here. The taxi driver, angered further, exited his vehicle and unloaded a tirade of verbal abuse at his passenger before getting back in his taxi, shouting obscenities about the man's mother and driving off. The taxi involved was emblazoned with the logo of one of the cooperatives that have exclusive rights to pick up passengers at Phuket Airport. A woman has been left in critical condition after the motorbike she was riding crashed into the back of a 22-wheel truck parked by the side of the road in Sisa Torn early this morning. The 40-year-old Thai woman suffered a severe head injury and lost consciousness but was still breathing when rescue workers arrived at the scene. It took place shortly before 5 this morning as the truck driver told police he had parked to check the goods he was delivering nearby with the parking lights on when he says the woman crashed her motorcycle into the parked truck. This investigation is ongoing. Phuket Provincial Police have responded to a call online to recognize an incident yesterday that saw a police officer from Panga blockading the entrance to a housing estate in Telang and roaming the streets with a gun. Police received a call at about 8.30 yesterday morning that a man had blocked the entrance to the housing estate with a pickup truck and was walking the streets wielding a handgun. Police were told that the man appeared as if he was under the influence of drugs. Officers sealed off the area and surrounded the house that the man, who police named only as a lieutenant corporal from a station in Panga province. Then, hours later at 3.30 p.m., police obtained a warrant and entered their fellow officer's house to talk him into surrendering, which he did at about 5 p.m. Reports say the lieutenant did fire shots, so it was unclear where and was tested for drugs, but police didn't reveal the results. He was taken to Telang Police Station and charged with carrying a firearm in a public area without permission. And don't forget that all government offices will be closed tomorrow and Friday, October 13th and 14th, as officials observe the national public holiday to commemorate the passing of the late King Bumibon Adunyadit, now called King Bumibon the Great. The sale of alcohol will not be prohibited, but the Bukhan Immigration, Employment, Land Transport and District offices will all be closed, along with main bank branches, but branches and shopping malls will remain open. And that's all for Phuket Extra today, brought to you by pvcphuket.com. We'll be off tomorrow for the holiday, but we'll return on Friday for more. If you want to check out more on all these stories, visit thephuketnews.com.
Phuket's rapid modernization has made it one of the world's premier holiday destinations. Investors can still buy quality condominiums for as low as 75,000 US dollars and luxury properties can go all the way up to 20 million. Condominiums in Phuket are a safe, secure bricks and mortar investment offering foreigners freehold ownership. Call or email Thai Residential. Phuket's number one trusted real estate advisor to find your perfect Phuket property.